back now to our breaking news. Charles Manson dead at the age of 83. He was serving a life sentence for masterminding a set of crimes that shocked Los Angeles during the summer of 1969. Joining us now on the phone is Associated Press reporter Linda Deutsch. She covered the Manson murders and the trial that follow. Uh, Linda, thanks for joining us. What do you remember most about Manson during that time? Well, Manson had a great mythology about him, that he was scary and that he had some sort of superpowers over his followers. But when we finally saw him in court, he was just a very little guy uh, with shaggy hair and a buckskin jacket who seemed bewildered by the whole scene which surrounded him in the courts. Um, he was um, the master manipulator of the trial. He choreographed everything. He made sure that he had the worst lawyer in Los Angeles. That's what he asked for. He made sure that uh, his followers, the, the three women who were charged with him, were given messages every day on how to behave in court, which was badly. Uh, they were jumping up and down, singing, um, you know, disrupting everything. And that was his plan. Did he you planned for the trial to be a circus, and it was. And Linda, did you see anything in him that sort of suggested of this kind of charisma, that he would have this power over these three women and create this family, as they called it? No, it was not evident, and it, it turned out, after listening to testimony for about a year, the secret of Manson was the people that he chose as his followers. He chose extremely young, mostly women, um, very naive and uh, vulnerable, and all of them troubled. They were either on drugs or they had been thrown out by their parents. He picked up the strays of society, and, uh, and he was able to easily convince them that he was preaching the truth and that they should follow him. And he set himself up as a kind of... Um, well, he was a cult leader. He was probably the first cult leader that we know of in this country who formed a, a commune like this and turned it into basically a killing machine. Linda, we're looking at some video of uh, some of the houses where the words Helter Skelter and Pig are written in blood. Mm -hmm. Describe what this did to the community of Los Angeles, kind of the terror that uh, was instilled during that time when the news came out about these murders. Well, Los Angeles really was never the same after that. It was a place of fear. People were buying guard dogs. They were getting alarm systems. They were arming themselves. Um, they did not know what was going on for quite a while, actually, because the killings happened on August 9th, 1969, and the, the suspects were not even caught until the following November. So for several months, the, there was a an aura of fear in this town because not only had Sharon Tate and her friends been killed, but the LaBiancas were slain the next night. And the feeling was that there was either a serial killer at large or there was a copycat killer who had watched the first killings and tried to emulate them. As it turned out, it was the same uh, killer that was in charge. Linda Deutsch, thank you so much for joining us. Linda Deutsch, former AP reporter who covered extensively the trial of Charles Manson, dead at the age of 83. Family Guy